Happy Saturday. It's the first day of the weekend, and I do want to start off with a satellite image from up in space of the great state of Texas. You can see the Saharan dust pushing still into the Gulf of Mexico and also into the Texas coast. And what's cool about this picture, you can see it online for yourself. Just type in uh, geostationary east satellites. And uh, what you see along, you know, the Texas coast is thunderstorms out in Houston. Also portions of Louisiana out to the southwest. Cl uh, clear skies, hazy sunshine, and out in parts of West Texas, it is uh, purely blue as far as sunshine and also rain free. But some of this will start to work its way southeastward. You can see it's blowing up on satellite. Uh, some of the showers that are working into the uh, coastal bend, Corpus Christi, mainly in our northeastern counties, and radar will come up in just a moment. Tonight, temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s, uh, mostly clear. I do think about 10 o'clock we'll start to see mostly cloudy skies. Around 75, 76 will be our overnight low under mostly cloudy skies and kind of a repeat tomorrow. Winds are out of the southeast at about 15 miles per hour. It's been pretty calm for the most part and not too gusty as far as the winds are concerned. Temperatures, yeah, pretty warm. Just changed in Robstown from 91 or 92 to 90. 92 here in town, uh, 96 over in Hebronville, 92 over in Beeville, and 94 over in Foul Furious. Now you factor in the humidity, it feels a little bit more warmer. 101 here in town, 107 in Kingsville, and 102 over in Alice. So here's the radar picture. Scattered activity. If you are in Refugio, George West, Bevo, you are seeing some rumbles of thunder or hearing some rumbles of thunder and also seeing some lightning strikes in your western skies along with some mostly cloudy skies. And I do anticipate some of this energy starting to work its way from the northeast down across the coastal bend, but you can see a lot of it is fizzling out and I can't run isolated shower, especially here in town, Rockport, Port Aransas. If you're in a free hero, yeah, that's where you're seeing a little bit of a lightning strike out there. But, you know, showers will be, you know, few and far between going into tonight, and it'll be mostly quiet as we some of this, uh, see some of this activity starting to fall apart. A little closer, yeah, the thunderstorm kind of built thanks to daytime heating. And it's kind of starting to fizzle out uh, just northeast or a few here and also on Highway 77. So you can see a lot of the activity has been towards Houston, uh, a good complex forming and then raining itself out as it pushes into the Gulf of Mexico and along the Texas coast. So you can see here in town in our viewing area, kind of quiet, but as I mentioned, can't rot an isolated shower going forward into tonight and also into tomorrow as well. But for the most part, it looks pretty quiet. High pressure out to our north and northwest. Uh, that's keeping it relatively quiet, but two competing pressure systems are what's up, uh, you know, creating news parts of uh, East Texas. This area of low pressure or this upper low will slowly track its way westward across South Texas, and that's what's going to keep rain chances up. Not impressively up, but it'll keep them uh, at least up for the next couple of days as we have an isolated chance each and every day through about Tuesday and also Wednesday. So what you can see on water vapor imagery, the grip of this area of low pressure, this, you know, the winds and also uh, clouds moving in from the north and also the Gulf of Mexico moisture moving in from the south. So you can see it's pretty powerful on water vapor imagery. But as we going into tonight, uh, mostly cloudy, can't run isolated downpour here and there, but mostly quiet temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s. And then by tomorrow morning, could see a few downpours here and there. A lot of it will fall apart, but can't rule it out. And then temperatures warm up to the low 90s, clearing out. And then activity, as I mentioned, will be few and far between going forward. Rain chances do increase tomorrow night into Monday and Tuesday. However, I only anticipate isolated activity. And I do think our best window of rain will be Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. But with the rain and also clouds come cooler temperatures, mid to upper 80s as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. So that is actually slightly below normal. Uh, so we'll take what we can get. But good news, I do think the rain tapers off late Wednesday just in time for July 4th and Independence Day. So yeah, if you have any, you know, making plans outside or, you know, and popping any fireworks, which a lot of us are, I think it is looking or good to go. just going out to watch them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, there'll be some clouds around, yeah. maybe some lingering light rain, but for the most part, it's looking okay. good. Clear skies. All right. Thanks a lot, Ryan. And Travis Green is up next with sports.